happy with the win this afternoon? Happy with the win. Um, I think it was a tough one again. Put ourselves in a position to have to really fight and find a way in the end. MJ was uh, phenomenal all afternoon. She was really dominant in that circle. She's great, and she was taking some really strong balls, some really strong balls, and some some great shooting out there from MJ. So. Um, we we'll probably got a little bit hesitant and like we're moving out of front of that as the game wore on, so we'll, just, we'll have a look at that and things to work on. Emily and Joe started really strongly in the defensive circle, they kind of kept the pressure on early. They were, they had a great start, I, was really, I thought the defensive pressure, particularly down in that defence end and as a unit, there was some great pressure and going hard and contesting ball really well, so they got a lot of great ball for us. And the Swiss really struggled with the second phase um, early on in the match, that was a big partly because of Kate and Kate and Liz. Yes, that has been a focus, focus of ours this past week, so but I think that even sort of dropped off a little bit in the, the second half. So I, I thought Swiss did a great job in getting themselves in a position to contest they, and um, yeah, they pushed all the way. It was a tight one really high pressure in the end. And after the week that they've had, it's a, it's a credit for them. There's some great performances from them. Was there anyone else in the team you were particularly impressed with um, their performance tonight? Or was there anyone in the team that you were particularly impressed with tonight? Or do you think it was just a combination? Oh, look, I think at different times, but I think certainly the defence, like Joe and, and Emily in that first half. Kate did some great work defensively as well, Kate Maloney in that middle. Um, yeah, but it's a uh, wrap for the win. You know, not happy that we find ourselves in a position where we're trying to hang on. We want to be able to find that way to keep pushing it on. So that's something that we'll look at. What did you say to the girls in the break between the third and fourth quarter as the Swifts kind of got that jump? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Probably almost so fast. <laughs> it's pretty boring. It's pretty simple. It was about acknowledging that, you know, what we learned and what we were going into was about that fourth quarter and keeping focused on what we needed to be doing in that work rate and putting the pressure on them. So it probably was an ideal finish for us, but yeah, I'm happy. Two from two, that's as much as we can. Yeah, two from two on the road, are you looking forward to being back at John Kane with the full crowd? It is actually, we've said that today, to be able to get a, a win today was important, having two on the road, and to be able to get home and play again at John Kane Arena, we're really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to it. And two strong performances as well. What do you think's changed since uh, last season? As well? I think that uh, we've certainly got some some balance across that across that squad. Um, with you know what Lizzie back makes a big difference. Um, we're just building some more consistency across that group with Lizzie and Rani and, and Kipper coming into it. Um, we've still got a lot of growth, I think, to do, particularly. Um, across that shooting circle, there's a lot of development and growth still to come for us there. So, um, and live, it's, uh, that's something extra for us as well, down in that defence end. So I think there's a great balance and strength and depth across the squad, and, and we've just got some areas that we've just got to go be a gradual build on and, and improving in. And you had Kip start in goal attack last week and Rani this week. Is mm. that something you're still working out, or is that matchup specific? No, no, no. It's, um, last week was an important step for Kipper that hadn't had much, she hasn't had much pre season yeah. match play in any of the pre season. So it was a, it's a, just an important step for her. For her confidence, I'm ready. And, um, but that's, it doesn't all just happen all at once. So she's growing each, each game that she's out there and she, you know, she, she felt a bit more relaxed today. And that's a process for her when you're returning from injury. So, um, yeah, but ultimately we just build up and work on those combinations and, and get some real strength and flexibility across that shooting group, which will be good. What's going to be the primary focus for training this week? Oh goodness, let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's um, that's something to look at. But the, you know, a couple of things that we've just spoken about to have a think about. Um, how we um, how did Swiss get into the position to get back into the game, you know, and what did what were we doing in that, that circumstance and also to how did we find? How did we get ourselves through it? I mean, because it's pretty important that we actually won that game, and it was tight, and the momentum was with them. So, acknowledging what were the important parts of doing that as well. So, and that thinking—that's our training comes from, from having to think and reflecting on the game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.